Hey YouTube Land and Internet fans, uh, this is Tycandrus here doing another action figure review review. Well, this is an unboxing and review. This is something I would totally caught me out of left field. I didn't know that uh I didn't know it was being released. I didn't know it was out so soon. I only remember seeing images of this thing recently, well like within the last two, three weeks. And Lo and behold, when I went to my local uh, toy store, it was sitting there on the shelf and I grabbed it so I can do a review of it. Uh, what this is, now you can't really see it too well because it can't really fit into my display uh, screen or display area that well. It is quite big. It is 17 inches in height from according to the box. So what this is, is Big Boss Gorilla from the Primal Clash line. Now, if you're not familiar with that line, it was also called Jurassic Clash and they renamed it Primal Clash. And this is a subline from the company Lennard, who you may re, uh, may know from the Core and Core Elite, and they also did the Jumanji, uh, which ones was it? Kong Skull Island, Jumanji, and the rampage video uh, movie franchise figures so this is another gorilla ape gorilla figure from them and now i have taken this thing i have cut the tie straps on this thing to take it out of its box i will note that there is a additional thing that you need to do so i'm going to take him out of his box like so i'm just going to move him aside for the moment so we can take a look at the box and then we'll chuck the box and get onto the big guy himself. So, you can get him to stand without him falling over. So, you have this new artwork on the corner of the box of the gorilla itself. This kind of stonework in the base, you can see it was an open style packaging. The extra part that you have to watch out for on the back is he's actually screwed into the packaging. So, I bring it around. Smash and bash, gigantic size, action posability, 16 points articulation, primal crash. Now I'm not sure if you can even see all of those on the screen. So it is a big, big box. So the write up on the side of the box is the year is 25XX. Super advanced technologies let humanity bring back and live among uh, dinosaurs and mega fauna. With dino control technology, machines, beasts, and humans working together, we're able to bring population or sorry, pollution down to almost zero, all thanks to the supercomputer known as the evolution. Uh, the very apex of human technology achievements until the singularity, also known as the Cybergeddon, happened. The sent sentient evolution uh, decimated humanity and enslaved all remaining living creatures, telepathically controlled dinosaurs and humans. I like creating the final impact uh, military unit specialized in hunting down humans and feral dinosaurs for total world domination. Small group of raiders escaped, living off on the run in a new world between feral prehistoric wilderness and technological doom. Alongside their tame dinosaur companions and incredible technology, they will, will, they will retaliate and launch the ultimate primal crash or primal clash. So on the bottom of the box is just all the legally stuff and it gives that warning for the uh, screw. Side of the box, you have an image of the figure and another image of the figure. And we will bring in the figure itself. So here is this guy in all his massive, massive uh, glory, if you understand. So he has articulation points. Uh, he has big graspy hands. Now I just need to grab my scissors because uh, this is off screen, unfortunately. You can't see it. Ah, there we go. So, uh, he does have, if I bring him down, see this stringy stuff. Yeah, if I get it off him, this kind of stretchy string stuff just to hold his mouth in place. It does wind around his mouth, so it is something to be wary of. Now let's see if we can get him into a kind of more 
traditional gorilla style pose that way he might fit in the screen a little bit better so he's still too big to even fit in the, the screen there he is in his giant gorilla mode so he has some cool articulation he actually has an articulating mouth and we'll go through run through what he has so his arms if i can even get them in screen are on a joint i can rotate all the way around he has a single jointed elbow with a bend so it, and that can rotate all the way around his hand can go back a bit which doesn't look natural but you have that you have a rotation and a ball joint on the hand with the knuckles the hands are sort of a slightly more rubbery plastic than the plastic for the rest of the figure the head is articulated you get side to side up and down you could you can't really do all the way around on it you might break the actual um the hinge but his jaw does articulate which is something none of the previous um big creatures that they've done have are the big ape style creatures uh i just bring him around you can see the detailing on his back you see here there's a screw hole where he was screwed into the packaging big old ape butt he has articulation in the legs and he just have a, has a swivel at the hip he doesn't have any knee articulation and then he has his feet are on ball joints now the main reason for the no knee articulation is more than likely it's to help him stand upright because if he was to have knee articulation he would probably fall forward quite a bit his legs do articulate out to the side to make it easier for him to stand so if we can just get him to stand right, without him falling forward which would be nice there we go we just have to get that sweet point he does stand pretty pretty nicely uh both arms have the same articulation so i get him right into the back here we'll get some figures in the three and a quarter inch line size of things if i can even fit them in to where he is uh there is Mal dr ian malcolm here is one of the hyatoys predators got a Bernard style star troops line figure see if i take the bug head face off you can see the height a little bit better uh for slightly larger figures if you want to do some crossover stuff here is green goddess from the masters of the universe uh origins line so if you have origins figures you can probably scale them to that too uh here is one of leonard's other lines that they've done which i haven't done a three and a quarter inch scale figures for which is the predator the it's the berserker predator from predators they did that you can see he dwarfs them pretty much um so those guys are pretty tiny compared to him now if i just move stuff around i'm sure things will start falling in fact if i just grab ian malcolm and see if we can hold him in his hand quite reasonably enough so if you have human characters or anything in the kind of three and a quarter inch line you see you can hold them in the hand not too bad his hands are done in a knuckle drag sort of pose as you saw earlier i had him in a kind of more traditional kind of gorilla style posing where he has the front legs down you can angle the head right back i'm even having trouble getting this guy into shot which is how big he is paintwork is quite nice he has these dark grays for the plastic and then he has airbrushing kind of extra paint apps this lighter gray which is kind of cool and for a size comparison 
Let's see if we can even do this because I have. Is, they're going to take up a lot of space. That is the one downside of these guys. They will take up a lot of space on your shelf if you have these guys. So just be aware of that. So here is a previously mentioned George from the Rampage line. Uh, they didn't, as far as I can tell, this is an all new sculpt. They didn't reuse any parts from George here. Not even the shoulders look the same. I can get George into the corner here. I'm not sure if you can even see him. Uh, let me maneuver things around because he's so big. So bring George. George is actually even smaller than him. Just a small bit smaller. Um, but you can see the height wise, they are kind of, kind of similar on scale. So, but they are, the feet on this guy are completely different. They're larger, he has larger feet. The hands are bigger. George is even is a big creature, but he's not as big as him overall. And then for the other big giant ape creature that they released, we have King Kong. And I'm gonna have to move my camera to get this guy even in shot. Now King Kong is bigger. He has a bit more articulation in the arms in the sense that he has double joints, but he doesn't have any swivel and he doesn't have the opening mouth. From what it looks like, it looks like they were planning to do a Kong figure out of this ape, because he has like the similar scars on the chest. In fact, if I just move my camera, if I can do so. Bear with me a moment. Now to move my camera all the way up to actually get this guy in shot. So you can see how big Kong is. Compared to him, Kong still dwarfs this guy a good bit but you get some good range of movement on the head and you have that articulation jaw which is really really cool uh overall he's a pretty cool ape figure or a gorilla figure you can you could work him in with multiple lines he's even big enough to work with if i have something else here uh, stuff like the turtles, the neck of turtles, you could probably get away with using them as some sort of giant mutant turtle. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you could probably get away with using them as. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have... Actually, wait, hang on. Grab something off screen. No, I don't think figures are going to be different. But... That is a 12 inch or 11 inch scale Batman from the Dawn of Justice line, the Mattel one. So you could actually even use them with those with 12 inch figures as a or one to six scale figures line. You could use them as a gorilla for that. They seem to scale pretty nicely to those. Overall, really good figure. Um, he's around 30 over here uh, in Ireland. He's 35 euros. So he's a pricey figure but he's pretty pretty cool even like for leonard's standards for the paint work alone he's actually a bit more interesting than the usual stuff to do like a lot of times they'll only paint the front of the figures and that's the way you go but this sculpt and detail is quite nice on this guy so overall i do recommend picking him up uh, i'm gonna move these guys out of the way because they're so big i'm trying to get this guy back into shot without everything falling over. Ugh. Hopefully you enjoy this. Look at this giant gorilla, which is a really cool looking gorilla. Um, I don't know what else is coming out for the uh, Primal Clash line. There, I think there has been announcements of a lot of stuff. There is a new Core Elite stuff coming out and I think there probably will be some crossover stuff with those. So overall really great figure um i do recommend picking him up if you can find him i'm not sure what the situation with the states and him hitting shelves in the states so hopefully it will be fairly soon because like i wasn't expecting this to see this guy over here at all so it is what it is but hopefully at the time of this recording they will start hitting shelves in the states pretty soon so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this quick video review well, hopefully it was a quick video review it's probably going on quite a while 
But um, hopefully you enjoy this re video review for the Big Boss Gorilla figure. And uh, as always, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.